skip the showings, the staging, the repairs, and having strangers throughout your home. Call me today and let's get your home sold stress-free. Okay, we say this frequently on the show, but that's because it continues to be the case. The real estate market right now in Chattanooga is completely unprecedented. Such a few amount uh, number of homes on the market. I'm stumbling my way through this morning because I want to hurry up and get to Bruce Dodd. He joins us again with People's Home Equity. Good to see you this morning. It's always good to see you. You know, I, I, I caught myself fumbling over my words because I kept thinking, surely I'm not saying this again, but this is a record number of homes on the market. Isn't it still hovering around 700 or something? Yeah, so, so actually we're selling more homes than are available. So as soon as homes are, so the, the, the number of homes on the market is a little bit deceiving because as soon as they come on, they're selling. So you got kind of two things going. One is you've got less homes than we've had before but the homes that you have are selling like immediately so there's all kinds of activity it's not that there's just nothing for sale nobody's doing anything there's not much for sale because as soon as they get put on the market they get sold well and you're one of the reasons they're selling so fast because they're crazy uh in demand because the interest rates are still so good yeah interest rates have popped up a little bit but they're still better than they've been essentially you know, from an average standpoint in a year in the last decade. So rates are rates have come up a little bit, so they're not quite as historically low, but they're still historically low. So rates are wonderful. Um, and there seems to be a lot of enthusiasm around, around real estate. And the good thing about, you know, Chattanooga is things, you know, things have certainly gone up in value, but not like in some markets where things just skyrocket. So you're wondering when they're gonna fall. So, um, you know, Chattanooga's in a great place. So I don't want to say the wrong thing. I tend to talk sometimes without thinking. So here I go again. Hold on, everybody. But I'm hearing rumors of things like, you know, people are coming into Tennessee from other parts of the country um, because, I guess, of our no income tax. It's a great place to come and, and relocate. But often, if you're selling a home in Oregon and you're coming here, you've got a lot of cash money in hand to buy and make a better offer on a home. So if you're a Chattanooga local and you want to get in the game, you've got to make sure you're pre-qualified and good to go more than ever before, right? Yeah, so I mean, I think there's a number of things. The first thing you want to do is just make sure you've got the financing all the way taken care of. And so if all you did is enter some information into a website and they shot you a letter back, you're not really ready to go because uh, Realtors uh, know one of those letters and so they know that it's better than nothing but it's not a short thing for sure so the best thing you can do is work with local lenders have your deal totally approved so that you're essentially a cash buyer okay let's talk about this let's just play a scenario out okay suppose you find a house and you love it and you it's listed for 250 and you make them an offer of 250 and you even agree to pay the closing costs and then somebody else comes in and they want it too. Isn't it working where that person might be bidding 260 and now you've got to play catch up with their bid? Is that how it's kind of yeah, working? But, you know, I think what you always want to do is you want to work with your realtor and make sure that the offer you're making is an offer you feel good about. So there are situations where people are, are paying over list price. It happens pretty much every day. Uh, but you just want to make sure that, that that number makes sense. And so the best way to do that is to be working with the realtor that you that you know and have confidence in. And they're researching the market. They're comfortable that that house is going to appraise for that. They're comfortable with that sales price. You don't just want to get in a, a, in, a, in a war and you pay. You know, you can't compete with crazy. Right. And so <laughs> if somebody wants to pay way too much, you might just want to let them buy the house. But what we'll often see is sometimes some of those crazy deals they end up coming back on the market. You mentioned um, the appraisal. That's your key right there because if it only appraises for the 250, unless you're going to pay 10,000 out of pocket, you can't you can't cover the mortgage that way, right? Yeah. So what? So sometimes sometimes you do see people that are paying those excess amounts in cash, and if you're feeling really good about the house, it's a long term thing for you. In some cases, that makes sense. But once again, listen to your realtor. Listen to the professional. Listen to the person that's gonna make you 
think about things so that you can make sure that you're making the right decisions. Two minutes left, something that you talked about with me last time and surprised me a bit because you tend to be a guy that says, don't look at your monthly mortgage payment, look at how much you owe. Uh, but this go around, you were kind of in favor of refinancing depending on the rate you're currently paying in your well, home. It, it depends on you. I, I'm never not in favor of refinancing. You just have to make sure you're looking at all the details and you have to take into account what is your plan for the house. If you're planning on selling the house in a reasonably short period of time, you know, reducing your monthly payment, potentially increasing the amount that you owe, doesn't make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. If you say, hey, this is a forever and ever amen house and we're going to be here, then you've got time for those monthly savings to surpass the costs. The other thing that I think makes sense is really haven't seen 15 year rates go up that much. They've gone up some, but they've not gone up that dramatically. And so if you're 23, 24 years into, you got left on a mortgage and it's a house you're gonna be in, then I think it may make sense to take a look at 15 years. Your equity grows dramatically faster. The cost of interest for you long-term is dramatically lower. You gain equity faster it's just a good thing if you can do it so let me give folks the phone number where they can call you and pick your brain because you're always going to get an honest answer it's bruce dodd at people's home equity he laughs and says he tries to make it fun and he does every day 591-9801 online at chatmortgage.com thank you bruce thank you Far too often people are being seriously injured and hurt because of negligent drivers distracted by their cell phones. If you've been harmed by a negligent 